Welcome to Module 2, Lesson 8. Let's get started. Today we will be learning how to solve one-step word problems involving metric weights within 100 and estimate to reason about solutions. We're learning this so that we can find out the size and weight of objects in real life. We'll know that we're successful when we can use measurements to solve word problems. This pink backpack weighs two kilograms. This blue backpack weighs two kilograms. How much do both backpacks weigh together? Two kilograms plus two kilograms equals four kilograms. This girl weighs 22 kilograms. This boy weighs 32 kilograms. How much less does the girl weigh than the boy? We need to find the difference in the weight of the boy and the girl. 32 kilograms minus 22 kilograms equals 10 kilograms. The girl weighs 10 kilograms less than the boy. One backpack weighs two kilograms. How much do six backpacks weigh? Two kilograms times six equals how much? We can use a tape diagram to model finding our answer. If one backpack weighs two kilograms, how much do six backpacks weigh? Let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two kilograms times six equals twelve kilograms. We could say that six backpacks weigh 12 kilograms. This box of crayons weighs 32 grams. How much does one crayon weigh? We could divide 32 divided by 16 to find our answer. Let's use the tape diagram to help us. One box is one crayon. All of the boxes together equals 32 grams. I can use the fair share strategy to find my answer. Notice there are 16 red boxes on the tape diagram. Each red box is one crayon. I need to share the 32 grams in all 
amongst 16 crayons to find out how much one crayon weighs. The answer is two. We're going to share two grams for each crayon. So we can count up two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two. Let's do a read, draw, write question. A read, draw, write question requires us to read the question and pick out the important information. Then we'll draw a picture to help us solve the problem. This could be an array, a bar diagram, or any other math model. And then we're going to write the answer as a sentence. Here's your question. A lawnmower weighs nine kilograms. What is the weight of four lawnmowers? The important information is that one lawnmower weighs nine kilograms, and we want to know the weight of four lawnmowers. Now, the question does not specify which math model that we should use to find our answer. So we can decide, and I would probably use a tape diagram or bar diagram, because that is what we used in our lesson. So I'm going to go to our Google Jamboard and find out the weight of four lawnmowers if one lawnmower weighs nine kilograms. One more is nine kilograms. So how much are four lawnmowers? We can count by nines. 9, 18, 27, 36. Or we can count by fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. 4 times 9 equals 36. Let's go back to our question. The question is, what is the weight of four lawnmowers? We need to write a sentence to answer the question. The weight of four lawnmowers is thirty six kilograms because four times nine. equals 36.
There's my answer. The weight of four lawnmowers is 36 kilograms because nine times four equals 36. Now it's your turn. You're going to read the question, draw a math model to find your answer, and then write a sentence or sentences to answer the question. Let's read it together. A stool weighs about seven kilograms, and a bucket of paint weighs about 21 kilograms. How many stools put together weigh the same as a bucket of paint? Okay, get out a piece of paper and a pencil, or a whiteboard, or if you have access to Jamboard, you could use that to draw your model. Then you're going to write sentence or sentences to answer the question completely. When you're done, you can look in the description box below to check your answer against mine. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next lesson.